Hey, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on a 777, finally. It's been months since we've actually worked on it last, and me and Mr. Orca were hoping that we can get it done sooner rather than later, now that it's been months and months on end. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to work on our landing gear. We're going to redecorate it, because if you haven't noticed, it's like really skinny. And we're also going to do, um, we're going to redo the wings because the wings need to be redone. We'll do the wings in the next episode, but today's focus is mainly just going to be the landing gear. So yeah, let's get into the video. If you haven't noticed, the landing gear is really skinny and unproportional. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fix this so it doesn't look that bad. We're going to go ahead and redo this section right here. Um, so actually, before I do anything, let's just go ahead and fix the speed that it goes up. So it should be 0.2 for every aspect. Fantastic. Okay, let's go to the logic of the landing gear. Let's go ahead and revamp and change the times around. So we'll go ahead and double everything. So this will be 0.8. This will be 0 0.8, well, 8 seconds. And this one will be 4 seconds and 4 seconds, and we'll try it out, see if it's fine. All right, here we go. Let's see if it works. Okay, it's looking good. Okay. It successfully opened and closed. Well, actually, went up. So now we need to check to see if it will actually open on time. So let's try that. Okay, that goes down on time. That goes down on time. Ooh, that was a little bit close for right here. So I think what we'll do is we'll change everything to 0.3, or we'll change the times to be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and redo the time stamps. So let's go ahead and change this to five seconds. Just like this, five seconds, five seconds. This will be 9 seconds. This one will be 9 seconds. And let's try that. Okay, that's going up properly. Let's see if it will close properly. So it's cutting a little bit close right here. However, let's try and open it. Okay. It's opening fine. Okay, that was a little bit close. And this side it glitched a little bit. So let's um, let's change a few of the timestamps. So closing uh, needs to be set to a little bit slower. So let's go ahead and go back into the logic and figure it out. So when this is reset, or when the numerical switch box to open it, well, actually, to reset it is closed. So let's figure this out. It's going to be a negative one. Um, this is it, okay. So when this is closing, when this is turning off or on, we need to give it 10 seconds and we'll try that. If it works, actually, no, that was the wrong one. We need to go back and change that back to 10 seconds. Well, nine seconds, I mean. Okay, let's change, I believe it's going to have to be this one. So the off time to be six seconds. We have to wait six seconds before it actually um, goes down. We'll try that to see if it works. Okay, that worked perfectly fine. Oh, no, nope, nope, nope. Okay. Um, this is not good. Let's return it to the workbench and try that again. So we need to go into the um, thing and... Yeah, let's change it around a little bit. So let's try that. It starts going up early. But it does close on time. 
So let's try this downwards. And that works fantastic. Let's go ahead and make it so it's not skinny bones. Well, skinny. Let's make it so it's better than that. So uh, what we'll do is we'll get this pipe right here and we'll grab it through XML. So let's go ahead and copy this. Let's save this as XML. Let me save it and let's change it so it's double the size. Okay, I just changed the XML now. Let's go ahead and paste it and it looks to be a little bit thicker so that's fine let's go ahead and merge this really quick we need to merge this with this post and this bottom one is gonna have to be a little bit bigger so let's go ahead and go back into the xml of this specific one let's go ahead and save this as xml and let's change the number so i'll do that really quick okay fantastic let's paste it in let's go ahead and connect it with these bits fantastic all right um we're going to need a cone. Uh, do we have a rocket part that might look good with it? Let's check. So we have this right here. That's too big. Um, however, the booster small. Uh, I don't know. I think what we'll do actually is we'll delete a couple blocks down. And what we'll end up doing is we'll create the struts that we need so we need a two by one window actually it's gonna be a one by two that's the name um so we're basically just going to make the um the piston kind of suspension looking thing so what we'll do is we'll just place this one by two window here and just like that we'll place one right here and then uh i guess we'll have to connect it up through here we'll put it right here We'll have to turn it really quick, and we'll call it good there. Uh, actually, we need to go up a little bit. Okay, that'll work. And actually, I think it needs to go down a little bit further, so... Uh, actually, we'll leave it there. Let's uh, paint it black, and we'll move it down a block. And then we'll call that good. So let's move this, cut it, and we'll paste it just like that. And I merged it with the wrong thing. So let's re-merge it, just like that. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and delete that. And we'll repaint this to this color right here. Okay, so um, now what we'll do is invert it because it's backwards. Okay, let's go ahead and move this to this side right here. And we'll just merge it just like that. And what we'll do is we'll add, I suppose, this right here, maybe to that. That might look good. No, maybe not. Let's see. Um, what we do need is a piston that will be suspension. So these are going to have suspension. This is going to be suspension, suspense wheels. <laughs> suspension, suspense wheels, yes. Okay, let's go ahead and cut this. Let's paste it and let's go ahead and check for logic. There's a little bit of logic, we'll have to fix that later. However, at the moment, we'll add pistons so that we can actually properly make it a suspension wheel. So what we'll do is we'll grab our piston this large one and we'll place this right here and I suppose uh, we'll change this out a little bit so let's grab a solid block I'm trying to figure out what we could do for this little ledge thing I think we'll just have to go back and delete that let's go ahead and grab a rocket pod which is this one right here somewhere around here the one by one, this one, okay, nope, that wasn't it. Where is it? Let's check for here. Here it is. It's like right in front of me. Okay, let's merge this. Actually, that's merged wrong, so we'll have to build it down from here. And that'll work for now, I guess. Uh, that's kind of thin. So what I think we'll do is we'll actually make this piston two blocks thick for the length. So let's change that around a little bit. Okay let's load this up and that will work let's see what it looks like okay that actually looks pretty bit uh, pretty good relatively um so what we'll do is we'll change these parts all the way down to here so that they're two blocks long so let's change this so we need to save this as xml and we'll change it really quick and then i'll be back 
Actually, what we'll do is we'll actually change this one into a XML, and then I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's go ahead and paste it in. So let's paste it here, here, and here. And we'll have to go down one more, so let's create a 1x3 one, one of those. This looks kind of thick. That's okay. Um, actually, what I think I'll do is I'll actually change all these for a 2x2 two two one, but we'll do that in just a second. So let's go to the workbench, and I'll fix it, and I'll be back with you guys. Alright guys, I changed everything around, so let's go ahead and paste it and merge it. And it looks a little bit thicker. It looks kind of weird, actually. Um, I'm not sure if I like this. So, um, I suppose I'm just going to change this little 1x1 one one brick into a 2x2 two two bit, because the end of this is a little bit weird. So let's try that and change it around a little bit. Alright, um, interesting. I guess it looks weird, but we'll keep it for now. However, what I do want to do is I do want to replace this mid bar right here. So it's a little bit different. Um, so let's go ahead and do that really quick. Um, so what we'll do is actually we'll just replace it with the, um, the thing we had before, which was the 2x2 two two little bit in section. So we'll just paste this. Uh, actually... Let me see what the end of the um, line gear looks like. Okay. Let's go ahead and paste this here. We'll paste another one right here. We'll paste one here and one here. Just like that. Okay. Um, so we're going to need to merge these. And fantastic. Let's go ahead and see if it looks okay. Let's delete that block first of all because it's getting in the way. So, let's go ahead and fix this, because I found that small error from earlier. And... I think this looks alright. Um, I might want to actually make the gear a little bit bigger. Let me check something. So I just looked it up, and the 777 landing gear is 1.35 meters across, which is just about this size right here. So let's change this. So it's slightly bigger. Let's turn them to all speed because that looks kind of good. Fantastic. Okay. So um, that's looking much better, actually. Um, so eh, actually, it looks spaced out enough for now. So let's leave it as that. However, this front wheel, we need to move down one block. So we'll just move this down here and we'll move the rest of this bit down here. Oh, I deleted that. Let's go back a couple steps. Okay, let's cut and paste this down here. Let's merge this, and then this will be merged with right here. Just like that. Fantastic. Okay. So let's actually um, fix up the front gear, and then we'll test it out, see what it looks like. What we'll do is we'll start adding lights, because we need lights, obviously. What well, plane does not have lights? Let's turn on mirror mode. And we'll put these lights facing forward, and two will face sideways. So actually, we need to place support blocks right there, and then we'll place these here. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and place this here. Um, actually, this needs to be sideways, just like this. Uh, there we go. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll actually add a XML pipe. So let me grab that really quick. So what we'll do is we'll grab this pipe, and we'll put this piping right here and what we'll do is we'll just simply merge it to there and we'll delete this okay that I think it should be a little bit bigger so let's redo a couple things so let me do that real quick okay I changed it let's go ahead and check it out perfect so it's a little bit bigger and it will look a little bit stronger so what we'll do is we'll simply Actually, I think I want to change it to be a little bit more of stink, uh, steep angle, so let me change that really quick. Okay, that's a little bit better, so let's just simply place it right about here. That's uh, a little bit better. Actually, let me change it one more time. That's what um, building is all about, trial and error, to make it look better. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just simply put it in place. So we, we need to place it right here, move it forward, and move it up. And we'll probably place it right here. 
That seems like a valuable place for it, so let's just put this right here, here, and here. Okay, let's merge this, just like that. Okay, let's delete the extra blocks that we do not need, including that pipe there, and fantastic. Okay, so I think that looks okay. So actually at the moment, what we'll do is we'll simply start painting the gear to be uh, colored a little bit differently. So let's go with a dark gray. Let's probably change this by like one or two numbers so that we remember, well, so that we don't mix it up with any other, you know, things. Actually, what I think I'll do is I'll go a little bit lighter, so let's just simply replace this, just like that, and we'll just go ahead and start painting this, just like this. And we'll paint it all the way down, just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start painting this section, I suppose. That seems like a reasonable idea and we'll repaint the gear just like that so it's that color okay um so now let's go ahead and paint the aft of the gear um actually this gear i think we'll replace this front gear color with this just like that okay um that seems like it'll work let's go ahead and save this um as b triple seven 200 revamp okay let's go ahead and spawn it in and see what it looks like Okay, it doesn't exactly look like the 777's gear in real life. However, it does look a lot better than it did last time. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fix it on the other side because I the whole time didn't have mirror mode on. And that was just because I was messing with XML a bunch. So, let's fix that really quickly and then I'll end the episode. Ah, I love it when a plan falls together. Fantastic. So, um, let me actually check this really quick. Uh, that's, oh, these three blocks need to be broken. Okay, that's fine. We can uh, do that later on. So, um, I'm really liking this. This is actually looking really good. And also, this is the first time I've had 60 FPS when it's, when it's been spawned in. It's just because my um, new computer is a little bit more beefy than my previous one. So, that's good. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to end the episode. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join my Discord. It'll be linked down below. And while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every single time I upload. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. So yeah, bye for now.